Okay, hello everybody out there on the internet. The internet. Thank you, Justin. Uh, welcome I back. Hear, I can hear the intake of breath. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the internet. Excellent. Um, welcome back to Advanced Fight and Fantasy here on ATCB. Um, yeah, hi. It's probably only been because you're you're probably mainlining these, right? I mean, it's like what it's crack. like a yeah, like a Netflix TV stop. series. You can't stop. But it may surprise you to know that there's been oh, break the fourth wall. How like about two months or something? I don't know. Jesus, Luther maybe Klein. since the last session. Mm, it feels like yesterday. Maybe a month. Oh, it does. No, it's anything like yesterday. It does feel only like yesterday. And we totally didn't have to listen to the end of the last session to remember how we left it. <laughs> um, how we did leave it was uh, you guys are in the sewers and the port black, black sand hunting for the deadly and annoying Zortan Throg, yeah, right. the evil sorcerer du jour. Um, <laughs> and uh, in doing so, after being captured by some fish people, you were rescued from said fish people by a ghost called Sargon, who's uh, the kind of last, well, not, un, the last unliving member of the Society of Cosepolis, the, the town that was here before Port which, Black Sands. Which we subsequently teased him for. You teased him a lot lovely. for or everyone he knows having died. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he's agreed to help you. Basically, if you go get the Crystal of Power from the Fishmen's Temple down here in the sewers, the Temple of Hydena, uh, which he's given you a... And a, a kind of indication where it is, like a map, I don't know, a map or he's some shit. Over there. Yeah, it's just <laughs> over yeah, there. there. Is, uh, he's given you a map. He's given you a map through the sewers. Uh, and, uh, yeah, you need to retrieve the crystal power, take it back to him, and then he'll show you how to defeat Zortan Throg. Yes, Justin. Well, I was just saying that, you know, having thought about it, we should apologise to any dead listeners who might have got offended at the end of the last episode. That's true. Just because they are unliving does does not leave them open for mockery. Yeah. If, oh. if you are... There are various personality flaws on the other hand. If you are or were an inhabitant of dead Carsepolis, <laughs> we desperately apologise. You should have tried harder. <laughs> <laughs> tried harder to save your city and your family. Um, I just... The, I've just noticed that John's wearing an Arkham Knight shirt. I didn't even know that John had an Arkham Knight shirt. That's pretty I've cool. I've worn this several times. Have you? Man, this is entirely off topic. Like, of my two... <laughs> it is! Back to the dungeons. Of my two selfies of myself on Facebook. Wait, are we doing No, three Facebook selfies. Now? I'm wearing this <laughs> two of them. Do you think I browse your selfies on Facebook? Jesus, right. Fantastic. No, but you liked them. Uh, yeah, I've probably been polite. <laughs> so, um, Justin's making hand gestures because he thinks this is somehow... Not just we're not putting a cut in there, Justin. Um, so right, we'll open up with you having wandered through the sewer tunnels. Um, at, before we do this, should we say who you are? I guess. Nah. Let's just yes. by ear and see yes, what happens. we'll do it. We'll do it round here, Jake. I am a Grimbold Pornholm, and I've got a great Arkham mate shirt. <laughs> Sponsored by Rocksteady. <laughs> I am Baroness Rangor, the foolish 19-year-old human wizard, and I have a dead toad. God and who remember. are you playing? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, I'm Sam. I'm playing Sam. <laughs> I'm Justin, I'm playing Gordo Bronwyn, the human thief. Sad that, just, just a description of a person. Do you know Gordo? Yeah, he's that human thief, you know? He's the human thief. He's a charismatic you know, he's human. He's <laughs> sort of human size. Human sized, he Looks steals like things. Yeah. I mean, he's, he's chaotic neutral. He yeah. to you know, people. he likes yeah. to slit the throats of the sleeping. Room. That's where he fits on the Myers Briggs personality test. Yeah. Human thief. Um, yeah. Uh, I'm John, and I'm playing Jerick Stormguard. I'm a human mercenary, and I have a Griffin's Claw. <laughs> uh, that's Shabadoo. And he's playing. Uh, I can't remember the name of his character. Darkfire. Aspen. Aspen Darkfire. Oh, or Griffin's or He's actually put on his yes. Griffin's Or it's the cat. Um, I'd like to just say I think it's unfair that I always end up playing Sam. It's not very, not very nice, really. Well, no, he's really? always associated with me. Sam is the worst character. <laughs> 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 we get someone else next time. <laughs> What's okay. managed to be made in the Shepherd's <laughs> yes. uh, Okay, so uh, as we pick up, you're in the uh, the sewer tunnel, just outside the secret back entrance to the Temple of Hydena. Uh Yeah, it's got kind of like uh, 
stone facade, and Sargon's told you where there's a, like a little inclined button to press to slide aside nice. the stone door into the, the back entrance of the temple. Just be quiet, Cap. <laughs> I think this is it. I press the button. <laughs> no preamble. <laughs> How are we going to handle it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, shit. Uh, the door slides aside Love to easy. reveal the straight up the interior of the, the temple. There's no kind of back room or anything. Yeah, it's yeah. literally <laughs> just the temple. Thousands um, of fish men see the door slide open. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, we got dead instantly. <laughs> yeah. I can see why the civilization fell, please, even <laughs> the uh The main temple hall is uh, unfurnished save for a great statue of Hydena at the far end and the altar in front of it, on which rests the Crystal of Power. The statue is some two metres tall. It depicts Hydena in typical pose, perched upright with his tail curled beneath him and holding his net and trident. The crystal is made of an opaque quartz-like substance and is about 20 centimetres high and 10 centimetres across. That's uh, about 10 feet high and 700 feet across for our American listeners. Um... <laughs> <laughs> We're cut, cut and faceted like a first water diamond it is mounted in a special gold stand but is not fixed to it golden goblets stand at both ends of the altar and on either side of the statue beside the statue is a large urn containing clean sea water at the base of the statue is a large ornate sword another relic of the temples of Carsepolis um, and other information? Any, any fishmen around? Yes, there is. Which is, I'm wondering why it's not giving that indicator nah, thing. Probably not. Anyway, there's a fishman priest knelt in front of the altar, uh, kind of gurgling a prayer oh towards Hydena. There's a picture of this. Oh, wow. <laughs> what about this picture is, oh. <laughs> oh no. There's literally so nothing about this picture no, that's, oh. It's disgusting. It's a big statue of a fish god. With a fish guy kneeling in front of it. Okay, fair enough. There's nothing about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Don't you forget it. Um, <laughs> I just want to point out, guys. You know those two like big, big chalice goblety things next to the. Yeah, just isn't that like yeah the same as last time when we had? Oh, yeah, the old five magic people. Do you want me to sneak in? That might be not bad. Uh, the door has ground. <laughs> you think the time for that has passed? <laughs> uh, the fish priest is decked out in a long linen robe decorated with seaweed and small shells um, as the, the door grinds to the side he looks up fishy eyes widened in surprise oh my god and I throw my axe into his head I'm gonna find my I was going to try and sleep him but we're all going to do it at the same time aren't we yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would surely assume I, well no because Gordo did just press the button so I'm going to say you're completely unprepared yeah. so um yeah, so what what sorry, what are we doing? I am dashing in <coughs> are there any big pillars in the room, maybe? No. Oh, I've described goodness. everything in the room. I'm going to try and rush in and grab the gem. But that's more my current All right, target. Just bombing it. It's not far, the the actual room is not very big. Yeah, it's not very big. So big. yeah, you run in and kind of rugby tackle the gem out nice. of this. <laughs> Yeah, is there is there initiative in this game? I don't think there is. Is there? I think we looked at that last time and there wasn't any. Just whatever. I think we just yeah. I'm sure there is, but who cares? Is there? Who, who gives a shit? <laughs> uh, Basically, I'm, I'm not sure, sure there other, is. I don't any other RPG. This game fills me with a sense of apathy about the rules. Yeah, <laughs> no, it like... does because they're all so whatever. It's good. It's, it's about the adventure, not the rules. I think did we right? go in order of skill or something last time? That sounds familiar. That sounds it doesn't right, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, write in and tell us if we're playing Advanced Fight and Fancy Wrong, and we'll, we'll reply saying we don't care. <laughs> we'll just reply now saying we don't care. Right, yeah. anyway. Or so just people, I'll just do it in order of people shouting the loudest. So who, who's going, who's got a thing they want to do next? Me! Me, me! <laughs> okay. Me. I'm fine with that example. Go first. <laughs> I sleep the priest. God, you, you sleep, sleep the priest. You sleep the priest. <laughs> oh, with your spell! <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. I just, <laughs> just, I'm just going to wander up and... He did say, ah. Oh. Molest him. <laughs> um, I'm just saying. Maybe. I'm gonna okay. Take my chloroform out and run up to him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That makes Magic. Total sense. So, okay, so roll, your, spend your stamina. Oh, I should stop spending stamina. I should actually you use the thing not, that gets me so. get stamina back at some point because I'm so quite low. You sleep. Uh, totally. Potions of stamina. Or use my, use my ability that's restore stick stamina. Yeah, that's that too. It's right. also really useful. 
Cost one stamina resource. Okay, and to then break. roll roll your magic. Uh huh. And I've got to get under my under or equal. Yeah. To your magic. Yeah. Yeah, that is under nine. Magic. Okay. Uh, the fishman priest just kind of goes. <laughs> yes. And starts sleeping officially. So I did not realise <laughs> the floor. fish people sleep. Apparently. He's Jared sleeping has, with the Jared fishes. Has like, like, did it in the phrase sleep with the fishes? We know. Well, fish, <laughs> yeah, fishes sleep. Yeah. But his eyes are still open because they don't know he's got, yeah. keep, he's got to keep swimming though, so he's thrashing about the floor. He's out of the water. <laughs> I suppose yeah, you might have instinct to try and swim. I, I read in a book once that fish have to keep swimming when they sleep. I am a biologist, I know that's not true, but mm-hmm. like, do they not? Do they not have to keep like water sharks. passing over their gills? Sharks do. Muscles, they can do that. Okay. Sharks do. Some no, I think don't it have depends. Though, like, yeah, there are some, some do and mm-hmm. some don't. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. John's right. Um, and most yeah. sharks are actually All fine. Sharks. All sharks. Oh no, rays have things, but most sharks don't. We should continue. You're wrong, Sam. Yeah. Like, yeah. most sharks. Yeah. But uh, but uh, a lovely illustration of evolution in action, as in the sharks. Are, are essentially relics from a time before f- when fish had active yeah, muscles exactly. to help them breathe yeah. while sleeping. Also, a great street gang as well for sharks. Yes. So, <laughs> who goes next? And gill muscles, also <laughs> a great street gang. <laughs> <laughs> um, welcome to ATCB, uh, your source for it's advanced fighting and fantasy and, and gill muscle information. <laughs> fish people. It's a niche market. So, back? well, I don't think we need to be in combat. No, I have already grabbed the gem. Was that a thing? Yes. Yeah, cool. You kind of gone, huh! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> There's a fish priest. I'm really kind of going, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was expecting you to get annihilated or something at this point. Though. No, you've not been annihilated. Yeah, okay. fair enough. Okay. So. Kill it. <laughs> Heroes yeah, again. It's fine. Can I uh, tip over can the bowl just, of can we just leave? tea water? <laughs> you can. Yeah. I mean, just say fuck well, you. Somebody get An that absolutely big sword. heathen religion. This is. Yeah. Who, wants, can't stand who wants the big magic sword? I, I'll so, take it. So have you pushed over the big, the big potentially loud urn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the urn comes crashing to the floor. Uh, fresh water spilling, or seawater spilling uh, everywhere along the floor, uh, and you hear something of a ruckus in past a door at the front of the, the temple. Grab the sword, let's go. Some thief you are! The are going to lose Grab the sword, <laughs> let's go. Yep. Um, and the goblets, they're expensive. I'm already leaving, unless anyone's stopping me. Grab the goblets too, they're expensive. No, I'm, I never even went out of the entranceway. I just stood there and suddenly got to sleep and left again. If you want to get out of here, you, 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 like, realistically, you can't ransack it on the way. Bye, guys! That sword was really good, guys, obviously. I'm running out the door with the gem because it's huge. Yes, it's pretty big. It's eight by four inches. It's like that. It's 10 by 20 centimeters, right? Yeah, it's yeah. Yeah. 20 oh, by 10. By eight. Then, then I'm totally yeah. grabbing a goblet as I go out, like, on the way. And yet, it's depicted in this as being, like, in all the pictures, it's that big. So I think it should be that big. Oh, yeah, that makes more sense. <laughs> Which is like an big. underarm. Oh, unless the fish is really small. It's, really it's at least 200 feet. I'm, I'm grabbing... imagine, in my head, it's, <laughs> exactly. it's the Arkenstone from the Hobbit film, but proportional to a human rather than a Hobbit. You have really complex ways of picturing things. <laughs> no, I'm grabbing a goblet as I leave the room. Fine. Fine. He's grabbing a goblet as he leaves Someone grab that sword. Do I have time to grab the sword? Uh, well, you're over near the door, so, so no, not really. Go. You could have time. The only it. people who could potentially do it are these two. Can I waddle over to the sword and try and take it? <laughs> yeah, you can grab the sword. Hey, I'll take the sword as well, you slimy bastards. Um, He's shouting this at them, trying to get yeah, more attention. <laughs> I close so the door the goblets are pretty big, so if you want to carry it, then you'll have to basically just just carry those two things and nothing else. Do you mean like, what do you mean, like nothing else? Well, literally carrying them will mean that you, you're not doing anything else. Okay. Okay. I'm ready for the door. No, you're not. Why not? Because you picked the goblet. Yeah. Oh. Um. My goddamn greed. Uh, well, you pick up a. You basically grab the goblet and immediately see that the eyes of the statue start to glow red. Drop it. Run. Okay. Experience thief. <laughs> not such <laughs> a <laughs> <Yeah, fucking laughs> <shit. laughs> Okay, you like throw it to the ground. Sorry, sorry. The, the glow kind of uh, starts to fade away. As you, um, sorry, it specifically sorry. says if you put if you like uh, if you put put it down, then it stops. Um, <laughs> so, as if anyone's going to pick it up and go. Eyes are glowing red. 
I fucking pick the right thing to do here. Yeah. <laughs> Quick, grab the other one. See enough movies yeah. to know how this goes. This must mean it's at least worth, you know, twenty pounds. Yeah. <laughs> grab the goblet as you come out, dwarf. <laughs> can I hit the button to close the door behind us? Yes, you can. Well, that's that's what I'm going when to do. we're out of the when door, these guys yes. are out. Yes. <laughs> no, when uh, when the dwarf is halfway through. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like gonna mash a long sword on his back. <laughs> like, that was a good joke. I'm stuck on the door. I can't get through. <laughs> <laughs> So, Hold it right, sideways. You're all out <laughs> of the idea. Temple of Hydena, one extremely elaborate theft later. <laughs> Is the door closed behind us? Yes, well, yeah. you literally walked in, put a priest to sleep, and ran out. Yeah. Great. Adventure! That's, right. that's, that's, a good, that's a good theft. It is a good theft. Mm-hmm. It's exceeding, it's exceeding. No one died. It's <laughs> the fish of adventure. Not even the fish. Despite but... your best efforts, nobody died. <laughs> Uh, You're a prick. <laughs> sword. I'm gonna push over there loudly. Hey, this is my sword now. Hey, good. Find us, keep us. Don't want the swords. Hey, you, fine. You have an axe. You can't use swords. Is this you know, two-handed combat? Isn't it yeah. a bit big for you? No. What weapon do you? It's use like what are you trying to slice as tall as you. That sounds like discrimination. Well, I, to I, me. Hardly rec- I hardly recommend that John has the sword because John is trying to be using swords. Also, Jared it's twice as long as him. Well, yeah. I, 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 if you want to check, but. I just believe we're having thing. this argument as we're heading back towards yes, the are. dead guy. Wow. Wow, <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Jinx does not like dwarves. <laughs> Did he just hit? Yeah, he, he just walked onto Jake's last kiss. Kissed his face and off. left. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> he was like, was you really don't weird. come back here, Jake. <laughs> I've got my fucking eyes on you. I'll fuck you up. <laughs> That's exactly Sam weird. doesn't like you. <laughs> oh my god, that was incredible. <laughs> When you say that, it's hard for me to tell when you're talking about Shabadoo, when you're talking about Jinx, and when you're just referring to yourself. I never referred to myself as Sam. Well, yes. Just in bed. So, <laughs> are we heading back to Sargon? Is that what we're yes. doing? No, quit later with the gem. Okay. You, uh, you make your way through the sewers back to Sargon. Uh, he is kind of floating there, politely waiting for you. Being as useless you, uh, as usual, eh? <laughs> As you uh, as you approach him, aye, uh, and he says, "Ah, well, the uh, the brave adventurers <laughs> return very quickly. <laughs> uh, I assume that you uh, retrieved the crystal." Oh, and the oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, here it is! You I secreted something it. under the size of like your forearm down your pants. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I took it out my rucksack and, and, or bag and my sack. It's a rucksack. <laughs> I carry more. Thievery sack. Yeah. <laughs> Thievery sack. I says, oh, wonderful. Bring it here, please. I give it to the ghost. Okay. Uh, well, you pass it over. Obviously, you can't pick it up because he's a ghost. Um, but he does... <laughs> he, Jesus. he does he reach out. He floor and smashes. He does reach out and touch it. Uh, and okay. as he does so... Uh, over a period of several seconds, his body slowly solidifies in colours. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay. Um, he kind of pats himself down a bit and says, uh, Ah, that's better. Nice to see it's still in working order after so many years. Hmm, I can see by your faces that you are somewhat surprised at my revival. Okay. I do confess that I told you a slight untruth, my friends. For I feared you might not bring me the crystal if you knew what it would do to me. Still, I've had my side of the bargain, so now you must get yours. Fair's fair. So, this is what you must do. Um, there's also a picture of him touching the crystal. Is he? Oh, cool. He's not. Oh, he's, he's not Zoltan Brog. Crystal. It's pretty big, isn't it? Not how it's described in the book. Nope. Um, first of all, he gives you the directions to the tunnel that leads to Zoltan Throg's domain. He then goes on to tell you how to break through the wizard's magical defences. That crystal that you are carrying is a very powerful artifact, as you have all just seen. One of its properties is the ability to reflect a spell back at its caster. Take the crystal with you, but keep it well hidden, so that your enemy does not suspect you possess it. He may have heard of it and know of its powers. When you find him, goad him into casting his strongest spell at you. Tell him that you simply don't believe he can cast a death spell, or something like that. Yes, yes, I know this is a very dangerous course of action, but it must be done if you are to defeat him. When he casts the spell at you, at you, as he surely will, uncover the crystal and hold it in front of you. The spell will be reflected back at him and he will die. But beware, like me, his shade will be condemned to wander the ruins of Carsepolis. You must guard the crystal with care, for, 
If the ghost is ever able to touch the crystal again, he will be restored to life just as I have been. Hey, wait, why were you down to walk the uh, catacombs in the first place then? Um, because I cast a death spell at someone with a crystal of power. You're a nice guy. We're also nice people. Let's not mess with each other anymore. <laughs> However, that happened 300 years ago, and is of very little interest to young fellows like you. I wouldn't pursue the matter if I was you. I think we should pursue this. <laughs> no, I think, I think we should all respect each other's privacy about whether we choose or choose not to kill people when they're in dangerous if, if you can, <laughs> If you can, you know, cast a death knot, do you fancy coming along and helping us kill this, you know, Zoltan Throg guy, or...? No, not really. No, well, it's worth <laughs> a try. I have other business. You like to not Well, they're killing there. people. <laughs> he's just gained the ability to touch things. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> he's, like, he's got lots of catching up. <laughs> Isn't he the one who brought all the... But surely when you're a ghost, you can still touch yourself. Oh, there's other things that you can touch, though. Like uh, fishmen. Uh, no. Gold. I, uh, gold. Uh, I like touching gold. Okay. Isn't, oh, isn't the uh, Zoltan Throg the guy who's bought, brought all these fish people into your, you know, ancient ruined city and you want him out of here, though? Or not no. About that. He doesn't no. give a crap. Respect his oh, right. Also, he's very old. also, no, he didn't. No, fair enough. He's a very venerable man. He's 300 years old. He's don't give a crap about that. <laughs> right, well, right, well, on your way then. Right. Yeah, like, we are not morally better than this person. <laughs> I mean, on the one hand, we might be resurrected an evil sorcerer, but on the other hand, we might be able to get someone to pay us to kill this evil sorcerer at a later date. Oh, yeah, you're saying this in front of him. Yeah, you're building yeah, future cool. business. It's an investment, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> we could kill one, you got to have another one. Sargon yeah. uh, points, at, uh, points at the dwarf. <laughs> And says, Die. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. Um, he says, I see you have had the good sense to rescue the sword from the Temple of Hydena too. I should have thought of that myself. You know it once belonged to Prince Erechion of the royal house who ruled over Carsepolis at its height. Is that a fact? It is. It is in pretty poor shape at the moment, but if you'll let me touch it, I can restore its strength for you. Hey, go on then. Are you, do you? Can you touch the pointy end? So I'm not letting you. Let's, no, we, to be fair, you haven't been very honest with us before, and I know what I would do in this situation. <laughs> just just, just, just slaughter everyone. Him. Exactly. Um, he reaches out and touches the sword, just halfway up. <laughs> and unfortunately for you, he knows half swording. So. <laughs> no, no. He, uh, One-handed half swording. Yes, <laughs> yes, just that's quite thrusting impressive. wildly with sword she punching. Grabs the end and just yeah. in the face. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> We're not killing the cat, by the way. This is just the worst. <laughs> Jinx is just like, that's practically um, unfeasible. Yeah, Jinx always hates him. This doesn't fun. sound realistic. Um... <laughs> Uh, the sword, whereas it looked slightly brittle before, now glows faintly with uh, an odd strength. Cool. Hey, cheers. <laughs> Seems like you know what you're doing. Oh, it's wrong about you. You're not a complete bastard. <laughs> well, well, he, well, he did try and kill a man. <laughs> I mean, well, <laughs> it has been a pleasure dealing with you young fellows as well. <laughs> what, what <are> you, <laughs> you, you have been fair with me, as far as I know, and I have been fair with you. However, I have work to do, and after 300 years, I am a little behind schedule, as you may imagine. Farewell until we meet again. Farewell! Don't go killing too many people now. So saying, Sargon raises his arms. As he brings them down again, an unnatural darkness suddenly descends upon the tunnels. Oh, God. Slowly it clears, like mist blown away by a breeze, and when you can see again, Sargon has vanished. There is no sign of his passing. He is certainly a totally big man. I love how your response to him was, you're not that much of a bastard after all. His response by the book was like, well, it's been enjoyable spending time with you fellows. <laughs> what a nice chap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry viewers at home if, if occasionally Jinx bumps into the mic. And, and makes a bumper noise. Bump yeah. Yeah. It can't be helped other than by strapping him down. Or by, yeah. yeah. And, and I think you'd rather have the cat in the episodes and not oh, the bumps. Obviously. They must really enjoy the sound of him high-pitched wailing in the background. <laughs> we enjoy it. We do. Right, so that was a perfectly legitimate counter. Hey, Wizard, don't you occasionally feel tired? I do feel tired. I was just thinking about how you should be a bit tired, Can you do actually. anything about that? I think I you, can. You're always tired all the time. You're like walking into combat, you're new. <laughs> I think, you know what I might cast? I might cast Stammer to make myself feel less tired. You can do that. I can do that. Right. That sounds unhealthy. Do that right now on myself. Like, that, that sounds 
That sounds like the magical version of an amphetamine. And I, I, I succeed. <laughs> which means I spend one stamina to gain six. So I gain five stamina. Which is kind of a broken system, but whatever. An eraser, I would use it. I would like yeah, it. but you, it wouldn't seem broken if you roll a double six, trust me. Oh, fair enough. Would you die? No, but you have to roll on like a table of miscasting. And if you roll 18, yes, you die. Yes. Do or that again. specifically, you disappear in a plop of smoke and are never seen again. Damn. Into the warp. Do you? Yes. Yeah. Are you still tired? You return as like. I, I, I think I hold that in. Abaddon, the despoiler. <laughs> are you sure you don't want to risk a 1 in uh, 36 chance of dying? I am sufficiently awake now. Does anyone else? Is anyone else? No, we think you should probably. Yeah, we just, should keep going. And then you should just go, Sam. You should just go. <laughs> okay. Just go. I wouldn't mind. We are about to, are about to have a boss fight, and I wouldn't mind. You mean because he's the boss of the fisherman, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, does anyone it's else? It's a good thing we've got all these. I can, I can recover three I'll stamina. I'll cast stamina on you as well. I'll save you just when we're outside the chamber. You know, in yeah, case yeah, we need to save you. Don't you all have like a potion of stamina that Nicodemus gave you? Yeah, no one's using it. Healing bottle thing. Healing bottle. I don't think we ever found Healing that Healing potion. Okay. We don't but thanks it. for telling us. None of us trust it. <laughs> Everyone else alright? Hey. Yeah. Well, I'm going to cast it myself again because that one cast we had. Four. <laughs> Below. Double six, double six, double six. Double six, double six. Oh. Oh, I still pass. Yay. He's not dying. There we go. It's a uh, mercenary chap. Do you want the sword here? It's a bit too uh, unwieldy for a man of my stature. As yeah, great as right. it is. I'll take it. <laughs> there you go. Do you want my older one to practice with? <laughs> Don't insult me. I've got my axe. <laughs> you can dual wield. That's discrimination, that is. And I won't stand you just for said it. it. I have 10 minutes won't ago. Stand for it. It's different when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. So, are you having a, uh, having a play with this new sword? I am indeed. Okay. It cuts through the air um, very swiftly, almost as if it's leading you to where it wants to go. I always um, find that... Sword... When you use it, add two to your sword ability. Cool. I, I always find that swords have such a hard time cutting through air. It must be really sharp. It must be really, really yeah. sharp if it can cut through air. <laughs> There's still, there's still resistance when you swing something through there. Oh, it's like treacle! <laughs> <laughs> Here, give me that one. Give me that one. I'm pretty sure right. you, you can find oh, it. Oh, yeah, this is so really... You would know the difference if you swung a sharp sword as opposed to a plain sword. Okay, cool. So, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> okay, are you doing anything else to prepare for your... Boss fight. <laughs> I've just had some cool ideas, but I'm not going to reveal them yet. I hate you. Great. I hate you Great. so much. Good to know. I, no, I just realised like, like, <laughs> Good to know. Levitate works on anything, not just me. You just got to levitate. Sort of like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If he's, then, like, if he's got a low ceiling above him, then, yeah, then we <laughs> that was my plan. Levitating. Levitating very quickly. Like, Sam's like, levitate. We're like, we can't hit him now. He's like, literally, <laughs> you've made him impossible. <laughs> <to> <laughs> what what if I levitate you too? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> you all go. Everyone levitate. Is, is that how we're going to talk him to casting the most powerful spell by levitating? <laughs> I bet you can't do this. I think, I think the, the warrior should carry the gem and resist. Risk the death spell. I worry about <laughs> me. Yeah, uh, yeah, I agree. Mainly because I think that, that, that you, when you walk into the room with your shiny sword and the, and and a package under your arm, you will look so menacing <laughs> that the postman wrong. often does look menacing. <laughs> but okay, I've got presumably one hand on my sword. Yeah. Right. I'm probably holding the other one. Yeah. It's going to be really conspicuous that I'm holding a thing that is roughly the size of this gem that might be able to defeat. Can't you like have it inside your shirt? And <laughs> like bust it open like ah. super. No. <laughs> You're so difficult to work. I think with. you should conceal it under the dwarf's beard. <laughs> well, that's that's feasible. Dwarf's beard's big enough. Yeah. No, I think. Yeah, I think yeah, we and he, about... he would fire a death spell right at the beard. <laughs> well, about... then, the beard is most of the front surface of the dwarf. Admittedly, that would take two death spells to kill a dwarf. One to kill the beard, and one to kill the dwarf. <laughs> How about the wizard have it? Because then have the it. wizard can lure him into like a magic. Duel. Competition or something. Do you really and think also, that the wizard looks menacing enough to waste a death spell? If it doesn't work, he's dead, and that's fine. I vote no. I think ah. the, the person who holds the gem and the person doing the taunting should be two different people. I think. No. Oh, I'm going to do the taunting then. Oh, then he just fires at the person who's done the taunting, <laughs> and they die. You're acrobatic enough. You can no, jump no, in front no, of the back. I hold the gem because I have con, 
so I can try and go. Yeah. Whoa, that whoa. makes sense. The person who can talk. <laughs> I like how you said that in character as well. I I have con. <laughs> I have con. At, le- <laughs> at level 10. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> I love the idea. I was just thinking about that from earlier. I love the idea that the death spell is the dwarf and not the beard, and the beard keeps on fighting for the rest of the session. I am a natural. I'm, I think I'm naturally good at, at making people want to kill me. So, no, I, I have no way so, of disagreeing with this. I'll just hold on to this gem, puts it back in pocket. You do want to hold the gem. I do. It does get me off. That's okay. fair enough. <laughs> That's more reason why I don't want to hold it. Because I don't know what you were doing to it. <laughs> bored a hole in it on the way back from the temple. Um, hey, we've seen this colour before. <laughs> it's kind of milky white now. Um, hey, moving you forward. You know what? I have some class at least. <laughs> no, you in the sewers as well. <laughs> I'm disgusted by you all. <laughs> well, at least I stick to you for this. Uh, yeah. uh, Jake, bring this down. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I take it. Are, are there any more preparations you need to, to make before you make your way to Zoltan? I'm thoroughly Is there any way to get my luck back? No. Is Aspen actually with us, or did she wander off? Oh she no, she's. Off, we've she? hand waved. Oh yeah. yeah. Aspen her existence away. Oh, away. Oh, so All right. So that's just we we alone. jog on. You know, like, yeah, good go. Reloading my crossbow. <laughs> Reloading your swords. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Putting a new clip in there. <laughs> in the hilt. Um, okay. After another unpleasant journey through the sewer tunnels, uh, you arrive at an open area. To either side are open gateways flanked by pillars leading to passageways. In front of them is a splendid doorway also flanked by pillars. Um, it says it has a distinctly Roman feeling to it, uh, but the heroes have no idea what Roman means. <laughs> but your players may well have. <laughs> Do, do you guys know about Romans? You know, no, tell they, me were, they were a yeah, thing. They're, 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 the, they're the Italians, right? As, you know, as <laughs> That's people, the guy as, from GTA 4. As, as, people, Sopranos, as people living in York, do you know who the Romans were? Um, <laughs> what did they ever do for us? This is a nerd channel, you just made a Monty Python reference. Uh, We've done it before. <sighs> uh, lined up in front of the doorway are the skeletons of several of the long dead guards. Um, there are, true. in fact, seven of them. But how is it that the piles of bones are standing with every bone in the correct place? And how is it that, although their armour is old and rusty, their swords are shiny and new? Surely they aren't. <laughs> uh, that, that's so much crazy. drama! Oh, I kick one of them in the femur. There's a lot more of them here. Than just <laughs> <laughs> that's what they look like. They got they got a kind of Roman legionnaire kind of look. In the picture, there's thousands of them going back into the distance, yeah. as opposed yeah. to just seven. I feel like the pictures in this book rather over exaggerate. The pictures in this book describe the story as it will yes. be when Gordo describes it when we get back to a town. And there's a whole legion of them. There. It's like forty like k artwork. Are we like at the Golden Throne now? Or something? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, I hope you're suggesting that the Dungeoneer book uh, is made. They do the artwork first and then write the story around it. I hope you're not suggesting that. Um, <laughs> although long dead, the soldiers of Carsepolis have lost none of the discipline and training which once made them feared throughout the continents of Alansia. As you advance nervously towards them, the guards come smartly to attention. Then, moving almost as one, they form into two ranks. <laughs> of four and three. Those in the front rank raise their shields and swords in advance. As they do so, the second rank clash their swords against their shields in unison. This makes quite a racket in the echoing cavern. Just um, leave. And they're, they're basically completely advancing towards you. I wonder if sleep will work on them. I don't think it will, so I'm dead. Try. Probably not. It's quite expensive. My character would know all this stuff about fighting undead. I don't think undead is going to be. It sleep's not going to work on undead. Oh, that's a good point, wizard. I don't understand these things, but <laughs> I mean, I assume I know something about You're having this conversation as these skeletons are about. <laughs> I assume I know something about. They're, they're advancing very quickly, so I understand this. I assume I know something about my sleep spell. Um, would it work on undead? As far as I know, or you have I no know. idea. Okay. Have you ever done it before? On undead. Yes. Every night. Have we done it before? No, not in the campaign. Then no. Okay. I'm going to assume it doesn't. I'm going to loose a crossbow bolt out, bolt out one of the skulls. Are you sure you wouldn't rather release a crossbow bolt? 
Don't mock me. <laughs> I'll do as I please. Um. <laughs> um sure. That's two TD six. Yes. Is it the one that's marching towards you? I take it. Yes. Okay. That would be smart. There's basically only room for four abroad in this in this chamber, so they're kind of one on one with you. I roll under my crossbow skill. Okay. Um, could you hmm, could you roll uh, a die for damage, please? Two. And that is two damage. Can you be yes. record person, things you have pen and paper? Um, and make a note. Give everyone a skeleton. And say that yours is um I have once and it was useless. Yours is on six. Oh no, it was two damage, wasn't it? Yours on five. Okay. So who wants to go next? Who's <laughs> next in skills? I don't care. Whoever. I'm not I'm a thief, I have one job and it's not to get killed by skeletons. How tall is the cavern? <laughs> no, oh my um, god. No, no Like it's yeah. not I don't know, two people's height? Two people's Sam, height. Sam, fireball. Can I, choose how, can I choose how high a levitate works? Or is it just you go a certain No, height? you just levitate them. Oh, okay. Jesus. These slight like, what, what weapons do they have? Swords. Okay. I'm going to levitate one of them. What, why? Because then he can't reach. Then he can't walk forward. He's just stuck up there. Can't be able to do anything. <laughs> Or well, you can fireball. <laughs> I could. Well, you can kill them! You can kill them! Like, to be... Hang on. We're, I think we might be poo-pooing this just because Sam is saying it. Because it actually idea. does kind of make sense. Like, if he's got a sword, he can't reach us and he can't walk forward. He's just stuck in the air. That yeah, seems quite yes. useful. That's one of them not fighting. Yeah, but what goes up must come down. Like, eventually yeah, he's still he's there for a while. We kill yeah, the others, then he's still up there. All right, whatever, also, we can just shoot what, arrows at him while he's what, hovering. Whatever, whatever. Um, I just I just had a look at Sam's character sheet, um, and he's got a spell where he can detect the real feelings of any character, <laughs> and like literally every and he's never you, used it. I've used it once, <laughs> like the previous campaign, and, and it I didn't d- write anything useful. So I well, it lasts the spell lasts for five minutes. Oh, that's so. pretty useful. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna levitate one of the ones. I, it's not a bad no, idea. No, it's not an awful idea. To be fair, I'm gonna levitate the one. I'm I'm gonna levitate one walking towards me. There's one walking towards yeah, me. Yeah, fine. And I succeed. Eight's just about to succeed. Okay. Um, the skeleton flies into the air and just kind of and revolves slowly <laughs> against the ceiling. <laughs> like, going, ah, it can't make a noise, but it's kind of... <laughs> it's both clatter. clatter. It's like clattering its displeasure. Yeah. Well, they can make a noise vaguely. in Jason and the Argonauts, don't they? None of you have seen Jason. I've seen Jason Nozzles. They kind of go, yeah, yeah. when they charge at them, I'm pretty sure. But I'm not sure it's a factually accurate representation <laughs> of the undead. A factually accurate representation of the undead, of the undead skeletons. As so this is our current status report. <laughs> yes, that's that's good. Levitating Mine's on five damage, and the sounds is... Levitating. 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 Yes. <laughs> Who wants to go next? I'll go next. I'll uh, shrink my axe into some guy's ankles. Sure. As per usual. The one coming towards you, I'm assuming? Yep. Uh, fail. Okay. You're dead. No. <laughs> <laughs> you swing, you know, your swing your axe in your face. Fucking you. Literally a swing and a miss. Um, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> It's a lot easier when they've got flesh on their bones to aim for, you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, Gordo. Yeah, I'll attack one. That's generous. Well, I didn't want to. Well, I've got a dagger. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, go for it. Dagger it. <laughs> dagger, dagger, dagger. <laughs> I succeed. Okay. I'm under my dagger skill, right? Yes. Uh, I succeed, and I do whatever my dagger damage is. Which uh, is... Well, normally you roll a dice, but you deal one damage. <laughs> um, as your, your dagger kind of chips against the skeleton's bones and... You know, does, it obviously leaves the, the skeleton in some distress, but doesn't seem to do a huge amount to it. It suddenly occurs to you that sharp blades may not be the, the ideal thing against something just made of bones. I don't think my sharp blades are very effective here. We'll probably just punch him or something, aren't we? Aye, okay. <laughs> oh, but no, your axe is probably pretty good. So, yeah. Um, Gordo's one is damaged by one. Mm-hmm. So it's on six, I'm guessing? Yes. Okay, and now they get their attacks. So... 
Eight. Okay. Let's do the one attacking uh, Jerick first. Yep. Do I roll against this? No, it just hits you. Oh, did, does it work like that? I can't remember. Maybe you do opposing rolls. I, I think maybe you do you. opposing rolls. We've really prepped for this session. We've really prepped fucking hard for this. I think range attacks you don't oppose, but melee attacks you do. I remember something about, yeah, you could... Yeah, I think you roll against each other or something. Yeah, um, yeah, you do um, oppose oh, each God. other, which is something that I'm also now worried we didn't do in the last session. I think we did, did which we? is why I remember it. Okay, that's fine. Cat, stop being annoying. Okay. I don't think we actually had many combats in that. We had the pirates. We just yeah, sleep the pirates. Yeah, we mm. just sleep like all the one of them. You just, like, you just put them to sleep and slit their throats. Hey, can you stop me doing that? I think you did hey, <laughs> we start, stop slitting their throats. Hey, it's not on. <laughs> That's just um, the noise he was making when we said, no, you can't. Like, hey, okay, so you? anyway, um, skeletons. Um, yeah, I've I've got a total of Twenty. Uh, and what do I add to my rolls? Your skill. Your skill. For of uh, sword. Yeah. Um, Unless you're fighting it off with your crossbow, yeah. No. <laughs> I also get twenty. I don't know what happens then. Defensive advantage. Uh, we. Probably hero. Or draw. You call it a draw. Is not a bonus for the um, old magic special sword? I've already put that in. Mm. Mm. You basically just circle each other, clashing swords. How about a bit of sword on dagger action, Gordo? I'm running. Just leave. Where to? I can't, I can't chip him. I'm like, you look for a big brick and chuck it at him. That's fair enough. Find a big stone. Are you actually like, like just running so, away? Yeah, I, I'm like, this does not work. I'm not an idiot. Okay. A skeleton chasing after me is one skeleton not killing everyone else. You might just go and kill someone else and do the chase. Well, then I'll find a brick and smack it in the back of the head. <laughs> okay. We might try and stab you as you run. Around. Where are you going to find a brick? Well, like we're in old ruins. I'm sure there's like dilapid. I'm sure okay. there's like, piles of rubble and things. Okay. So basically, you're trying to dodge your way from the skeleton and go look for something more blunt. Blunt. Okay. The roll crystal. Do- roll no, dodge. No, it's crystal. <laughs> it just smashes the crystal against the skeleton. I do have the crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Does the uh, crystal look hefty? Take that! <laughs> it just t- comes alive again. It's like... <laughs> <laughs> I don't have dodge. Bring all the guns back to life so they're on our side. Do it! So I Do it! Under skill, yeah? Yes. I succeeded. Unless you have a dodge ability. Which I'm surprised you don't appear to. Okay. Then, yeah, um, you manage to kind of nimbly skip away from the skeleton and dash off, I don't know, some- somewhere else. Justin, you should definitely bring all the Behind one of the pillars. Life. Yeah, is, is there any piles of rubble that I can... He came back to life because he was the one who cast the death spell. Yeah. It doesn't just resurrect anyone. But what if or, it would be, or it would be the most important <laughs> artifact in the world. It would be in a special room and every corpse would be brought into it to be brought back to life. Is that how Dark might not starts? know about it. <laughs> So anyway, uh, do I find any piles of rubbly brick things? You, it's, you, you don't get to do all, everything. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, right. Where are you going? <laughs> the skeleton behind the levitating skeleton is advancing, mm-hmm. so that's your t- that that sorted, uh-huh. and then it's axe on axe on skeleton action here. <laughs> a... um, so the skeleton rolls a total of um, fifteen. Uh, yep, I made my axe skill. Uh, no, sorry, add so add that to your axe. Yeah, right. Um, which is twelve, axe. right? Yeah, yeah. You hit. This is the this is how it should be. Basically, yeah, I've given you kind of one free shot here through my incompetence, but fuck it. Um, so roll your damage die because you don't get reduced to one. What's damage again? Um, it's just rolling a die. Just one. Yeah, just rolling a die. <laughs> one. One. Uh, you do two damage. <laughs> well. <laughs> Two damage to Jake's skeleton. You take that, you skeleton. bony bastard. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, it specifically says... The dagger is... Uh, no, it specifically says, that if present, the dwarf's axe is so big and is swung so enthusiastically that it is not turned by the bones and does normal damage. <laughs> it's so enthusiastic, there's two damage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, Jarek. 
The skeleton gets 16. I get 19. Okay. Uh, you do one damage. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's fair. One feet. Um, cool. Gordo. Uh, the skeleton is legging it after oh, yeah. you, but you do have a turn in which to, I don't know, scavenge for bricks or something. I'd do that. Okay. Uh, have you got any relevant ability? No. And just Literally. give us a skill roll. Do your brick scavenging. Uh, I six, six, Do I have to below my stamina when I do this? Below your skill. No. Yeah. Well, my below, skill is nine. Below your skill. Skill. Yeah. skill or below. Yeah, got it. Um, okay, you find a kind of half brick thing yeah. just on the floor. Yeah. Uh, the, the skeleton is kind of coming after you now, so next round it'll be, be back with you. Brick versus sword. Brick versus sword. Yeah, good luck with that. Um, <laughs> I have now waited for the opportune moment when this skeleton is underneath the other skeleton. I'm going to drop him <laughs> <laughs> on the top of the skeleton as hard as I can, just like instantly end the levitate. Okay. Um, the skeleton's on that heavy, so... Well, yeah, but they're still going to bother each other, if nothing else. <laughs> I'm gonna, a, blunt, a blunt impact is falling. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna ask for a magic roll, not to stop it, but just to... Hit, and, you, and you can't kind of like fumble it. Yeah, but just to like see if you hit one skeleton with the other. No, skeleton. That's, that's fine. As opposed to just dropping it. Eight, I did it. Okay, <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, um, that's what I was waiting for. You're so. You, I love how you're like. I got this strategy. I'm not going to tell you guys because it's so ridiculous. You will shoot it down, but it works. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll this is really well, let's see how much it works by how much damage it does. No. <laughs> I'm going to say that will do the same damage as a large fist or kick. So, could you roll that damage, please? So, d6. So, d6. Four. Okay, that does three damage to both of them. That's right. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, uh, more, more I'm assuming damage. they're somewhat, they're not, like, standing up anymore as well, so. Yes, they'll take a turn to get up, so. Yeah, exactly. I'm happy with that. <laughs> you just go, and now again, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> again. <laughs> okay. That's actually pretty good. Uh, where were we? We are a dwarf. Dwarf. Yeah. Uh, it gets 14. Yeah. Yep. And then a damage roll. Uh, four. Uh, that's two damage. <laughs> Jake's skeleton. Okay. So Jerry. Again. Yeah. <laughs> See, I remember doing these combats. We're great. In the original story, and at the end of the story, I was like, isn't AFS combat system really boring and dull? And you guys were like, no, it's really enjoyable. Oh, I don't, I don't get you. I, for the listeners at home, I hope you're enjoying this, because I find this insanely boring You are dull. talking to a room of former D&D players. It's true. So also, I'm levitating help. skeletons. How is that boring? No, that's fun. That is fun. <laughs> 25. Uh, yeah, you win. <laughs> uh, one damage. Oh, one no, damage. one damage. Yeah. Chip it. Chip it harder. Okay, so Gordo, with your brick, um, could you roll, um, roll and add your skill minus two, because you're sh- trying to punch them with a brick. Twelve is the skeleton, so fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, okay, let's go for uh, fist kick at a larger size again. So yeah, or three. Okay, that's two damage. We go. You could have done the same damage by just hitting it twice with the dagger. <laughs> but, but now, now, it has, now I have the brick. No, it's true. It's true. One turn as well. I mean, that's pretty impressive. Sam, what are you doing? While there's a big pile of skeleton in front of me, I'm going to try and firebolt into the big pile. Okay. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's not that big. I definitely passed. That's a three. Okay. Firebolt, firebolt, firebolt. Wow, it's only one as well. Um, yeah, it's quite cheap. Firebolt's, like, the magic is actually really powerful in this game, it's ridiculous. Yeah, it's Definitely just one powerful. die of damage. Definitely kind of so. really powerful. Five. Five. Um, I would say that needs to be split between them rather than do five damage to both of them. Yeah. So. Three to one and two to the other. Mm-hmm. As well could do three to the one in front, I guess. Or the one on top, which is the one that's been dropped. Yeah, the one which would be the one in front. It yeah. really doesn't matter. Both, what? They were both in the same. What are they? Now on two and one. 
Okay. You're dealing with yours quite well. Yay. Dwarf. Nope. Dog. Well, I got um, I think fourteen. You, you still beat it. Yes. <laughs> you're, you're all of a three. Yeah. Uh, two. That's two damage. <laughs> uh, two damage. Yep. yep. Hey, I like away your shins eventually, mate. <laughs> you did it faster than the mercenary, to be fair. Uh, it rolls sixteen. Can I hit it with the pommel? Yes, you can hit it with the pommel. I'm gonna do that. Uh, have a minus one to your roll, though. That is fine. Uh, 24. Yes, you definitely do that. Okay, uh, this will be a human-sized fist hit, so give me a damage roll. Three. That's one damage. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Out of curiosity, what does a, like, a dwarf fist do? <laughs> <laughs> well, because it's swung so enthusiastically, it could be the same as human size. Um, okay. Uh, Gordo. With your brick. With your brick. With a minus two. Uh, the skeleton fumbles. That only gets damages. So I just do a damage roll? Uh, no, because it does a fumble. And I think that is, like, worse. Or something. So I've got a 16, just to put it out there. <laughs> just down here. You add one to the die when rolling on the damage table. So that's it. So, so I've got... Uh, so I get a, a roll of six. Okay, so that's three damage. So you step up to the skeleton and <laughs> proper brick slap it, it around. Oh, brick it in the face. Brick it around. I've a guy like this since I was a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I hope that's not slang for something. Um, <laughs> wizard. So it's now a skeleton. They're both skeletons now standing up in front of me. Yes, they've got to their feet. Okay, but they're not on me yet, so I'm going to fire all no, of them. Yeah, they are. They're right in front of you. Well, one's standing behind the other now. Like, one is, one is going to take a swipe at you if you don't, like, Fight it off with. Something. In which case, I'll get my staff out. Right, okay. Right, but why? But if you do, break, they have like two health left. You can easily kill them oh, yeah, with your true. fireball, right, which right. is your spell, which is really easy. Yeah, I'm really good shit at fighting with a staff as well. But you can't kill both of them because they're one in front of the other. Yeah, I know, but he could kill that one. He could kill that one. Because I'm really, also really, as long as he really rolls and damage. damage. It's on one health. Oh, but yeah. Yeah. As long as he doesn't miscast it. I don't know. I have a better game of warfare. I succeed at fireballing it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It. It. It's over Shatters dead. into a pile of burning Five. bones. It's very dead. Dwarf. Uh-huh. Calls more oh, mighty blow. Stamina. See, according to the game, now, dead. you're dead. Like, that's literally the game. <laughs> but I'm not going to do that. That I'm would just be a gonna... fitting end for Grimball, yeah. to be fair. And that is a bit ridiculous. Like, like one in 36 chance. You're going to have 36 combat rolls in the game. Yeah. Or you're, like, mortally wounded. It's too much. I'm just going to add one to the damage roll if, he, if he's the one who hits. It, the reverse of a fumble. Uh, uh, he's. 16. Uh, is that your total 16? Yes. Yeah, it definitely hits you. Um, and it'll hit four. Ooh, a six. Which I, is... I like think he's finally noticed like this little dwarf's been hacking at his feet for the past like, it's just like... minutes. <laughs> <laughs> um, three damage. Oh, you bastard. We have that magic potion thing. Jerick. Mm. This is you swinging at me now, isn't it? Well, it's both. Yeah. Yes. So you turn to me as if you were waiting for me to decide what to do. You win. Cool. Roll. Um, three. What damage? <laughs> <laughs> Just slowly battering this skeleton oh, apart. Oh god. Gordo. Is it not the, the, the skeleton attack on me at some point? Yeah, that. This is. Oh, that's that's what we've been doing all the way through. It. They're versus. Right. Cool. Okay, I got... Uh, Don't forget your minus two. Yeah, so I got 14. Uh, it also got 14, so you just... You block the Don't sword with the brick. <laughs> <laughs> Most ludicrous combat. Wizard. I'm going to fire a fireball at the last one before it gets a chance to hit me. Oh, Wendy, two dice. I'm so happy. I'm so overjoyed. I hit it. It's dead, I How think. much stamina have you got? It's uh, got six. Two. I do six damage. Okay. It's dead. It's dead. More burning bones. This is what like, I mean about the. It's almost like your spells are really good. They are really good. Uh, yep, I think I made it. Okay. Uh, yeah, you definitely have. So, roll your dice. Uh, two. That would be two damage. Wow. <laughs> it's dead. We are <laughs> One. Uh, another skeleton comes shins. apart in a 
smash from your battle axe. Um, so let me think. You've got a second in order to one of the skeleton from Gordo, the backup skeleton from Gordo, is going to move forwards towards him because mm-hmm. he's just spamming. He's like, this guy's <laughs> gonna break. He yeah. obviously has got to be dealt with very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> this guy obviously doesn't know what he's doing. There's a the reason this like ancient civilization fell. Yeah, they're probably from. Obviously. So, uh, mercenary. Let's. Uh, and the, the whack with the pommel again. Yeah, it's on twelve. So yeah. Please, roll, yeah. roll, Three. roll. So that's uh, another another roll for you. Yep. Six. Hey. Two damage. Oh my god, Dead. pommel is not that good. You pommel it to death. <laughs> Again. Yes. And the next one comes forward. Uh, Gordo. <laughs> it gets fifteen. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Sword on and just parrying with this battering it away with the brick. That's uh pretty pretty crap. The skeleton so, <laughs> <laughs> skeleton coming towards me, you say. Yes. I better levitate that skeleton. And drop it on someone. Yeah. You're gonna die from lack of stamina at some point. No, I'm fine, I've still got more than half left. That's a two, so that puts me down to eleven. So Levitated I skeleton! Succeed. Dwarfs, your this is your second skeleton. <laughs> It's not the levitating one, it's a different one. It's not yeah. the levitating one. I levitated it his back one. one. Yeah. No, this poor skeleton's going to be like fireballed while it just sits there. Like a that, that's all the skeletons <laughs> engaged now, right? Yes. Yeah, because there's seven of them. I mean, the skeleton could throw its sword, couldn't it? Okay. Could do. Uh, yeah. 16. That would be interesting. It also gets 16, so Oof. nothing. Parrying occurs. Parrying occurs. Parrying occurs. Uh, yep. Cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> mercenary, your final skeleton. Okay. That This may actually be... Eight. We're currently on eight skeletons. How? Because Sam dealt with two. Yep. Justin's second one is now dealing with Sam, and Jake and I are both on our second. That's four each. Oh, yeah. yeah. So who was the last one to engage a skeleton? John, I think. This time around. John, John, Jake. Jake. Yeah, it was me this time. Jake. Yeah. We parried each other. You parried each other, so let's say that you don't have a skeleton to engage. Hey, cool. So what are you going to do? There's one hovering. Um, help I'm Jake not going to touch the hovering one. Help yeah, I'm going to help. <laughs> I clearly haven't got a clue. Like, it's like, <laughs> to, 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 to be fair, we don't. You look at assessor needs. There's a bleeding dwarf, but he has got an axe. No, you're not. Gordo has got go a brick, and he's facing off with a skeleton. Okay, you're going to go help the dwarf. Yep. Okay. Uh, it's not engaging you, so just oh. roll to see if you've hit. Uh, I rolled six, so yes, I did. Yep. And then give me a roll. I take it you're pommeling this one as well. Yes. Pommel good. Please do more damage because it's a surprise. Two damage! Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, pommeled it from behind. Okay, Gordo! It's, it's Gordo with a brick versus a Roman legionnaire <laughs> <laughs> skeleton. No one's like, yeah, he's fine, he's got this. <laughs> uh, it rolls 16. 13. Oh. It's got past your brick parry. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh I think it's three damage. Yeah, it is three damage. Oh. oh no, this is how much damage I had before Sam healed me. No. Terrible. Well Wizards. After that terrifying attack against him, I'm gonna load up to his skeleton as well. <laughs> <laughs> can you never take two skeletons? I don't think Yeah, I can. Surely it's nearly dead. Yeah, I know, it? but it's he, on one health. I don't know that. You can, it's a damn it looks, it looks I'm not going to meta game this. <laughs> he just got attacked by a skeleton. He got he's pretty killed by a skeleton it. for me. And I'm like, he's I mean, I can't up. fireball it because I might hit him because it's right next to each other. So, you know, levitate is the safe option. Fireball. Yeah, by the way, I can levitate more than one thing at a time. I not think. a ball. And it's yes, yeah, you can. Bolt. Yes, it is bolt. So. It's not going to explode. I fail. No. Oh, you die. Oh, ten. <laughs> I, don't, I don't die. I just fail. I still cast the stamina, yes. Now half Dwarf. Oh, it fumbles. Oof. So, no matter what you roll, you've hit it, so just give me a damage roll. Uh, three. And that goes up to four. So that's two damage. <laughs> oh, God. These weapons are shit. <laughs> they are a bit shit, aren't they? Uh, it's supposed to be a shiny well. I'm going to hit hitting... Hell! <laughs> <laughs> nah. I'm gonna hit the one hit the draw again. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are evil. I tried to levitate it. That's definitely a hit. Oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> and then roll for damage. <laughs> yeah. It kind of no, the skeleton one damage. Of you. 
Gordo. <laughs> Gordo, Gordo. Gordo, Gordo. Oh. Uh, it rolls 16. I do not. <laughs> it hits you for two damage. Ah! Aha! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna come to the rescue. I'll get my staff out and run up behind the skeleton attacking Gordo. That's magic. You need to try magic. <laughs> no, I'm okay. tired out now. Okay, roll staff. <laughs> this is never gonna happen. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. I fail! <laughs> I can't hit for shit. <laughs> I'm just ducking him to do that. Like, first we levitate I just, by accident. I almost fall over in the Dwarf. swing. You have Stick to the I mean, it's, it's yeah. worked, kind of. I've, so I've used too much magic now. It seems to break uh, my hand to do It rolls stuff. 17. Stamina. Uh, I'm tired. I'm tired. Yeah, use stamina. Two damage. Use the stamina. Use the stamina stuff. The two corner. Okay. And Mercenary. How are you doing worse against three skeletons? <laughs> or two skeletons? Because you were against seven. I hit and I roll six on the damage. That's two damage. This and he is dead! Another skeleton falls apart. This skeleton's learnt So everyone just carries on through the door, right, and leaves Gordo behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gordo. Gordo. Leave him with the whole Gordo green skeleton as well. This skeleton's learnt how to deal with my brick defence. <laughs> it fumbles! I get a good roll. So roll roll your damage and oh, put it up by one. Six. six. So it's up to six, huh? Uh, three damage. With your brick? Dead. You've smashed. Yeah! Sweet now! Sweet now, you're scarred! No! Smash you with your brick. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's just because you can't slow it. So <laughs> instead, you can just bash it to death. With yeah! yeah. <laughs> so that leaves one skeleton floating up in the air, right? What is it right? doing yeah. in the air, by the way? Just kind of thrashing around gently. Do you leave it? <laughs> 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 you can just use it as target practice. Can you look at a chandelier? Yeah, I can do. It's got about four minutes have, like, left in the air, probably. Finite like, crossbow bolts or anything. Yeah, but you can pick them up when they drop to the floor. That's true, yeah. We just pick them okay, up. Okay, let's just. Yeah, Jerry just stands there, <laughs> <laughs> slowly battering it what? to bits with crossbow While bolts. While that's happening, I'm going to cast stamina on myself again. Okay. You can cast stamina on me. Uh, maybe. I feel like there should be a limited quantity of times I can cast stamina, but there no, isn't. No. There isn't, is so I'm just going to keep casting it. broken. Oh, no. Oh, alright, oh, right, okay, okay. So that's 8, and I'm up to 13 with that. And I'll cast it once on you as well, and I won't cast it yeah, on So let's say once per scene. Once per scene. Okay. Right, just okay. on, on, no, no, once points. per scene on everyone. Everyone. It's fair. It's I won't do it again on myself, yeah, yeah. which doesn't... I'm still quite low, but that's alright. And you? I'm on 12, so I'm Okay, like so that is 6 stamina for you. Boom. Anyone else dying? I'm on 15. I'm fine. 15. I'll do one for you as well. I fail! 11. Yeah, Ooh. sorry. Not going to happen for you. Don't forget to lose the stamina yeah, as well. I won't, yeah. so that's tw- 11. For hey, me. cheers, wizard man. I'm back down <laughs> to 11. Heal! Be healed! Heal myself! Dwar- no, nah, yeah, it's not working, mate. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. It's just, just not working, mate. It's fine. Uh, okay, I take you going through the door. Oh, well, I could sneak in, and I want to go first because I got the gem. You sneak yeah. in. Yeah. The gem is like under a cloth of my sack. <laughs> what, what in your pants? Is that what you're going to say there? My bag, my burlap sack. And I feel like uh, the door can't. Re- it's like a big bar door. The door, the bar has got to be lifted. And you got to push it open. Can I knock. No, don't knock. <laughs> yeah, you can knock if you want. No, no, no. I feel like they probably heard us anyway, considering how ridiculously loud that long fight was. Uh-huh. Probably, a long, yeah. protracted fight. I'm, I'm going to go up to the door, like to it, and go, "Oi, Zoltan, we're here now. Come here, you bastard. <laughs> Let enough of your tricks." Uh, it's me that he's supposed to be part of Death Bolt. I remember. <laughs> like, I don't want to just hold on to this so he doesn't feck you. Just, just be acrobatic enough to, you know, jump in the way. I'm a small person. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> you can just lie down in front of me. <laughs> I won't do that either. <laughs> Anyone going through the door? No, does anyone or, respond? Uh, no one responds to that, then. No one responds to that. <laughs> no. I will yeah, unguard the door. I push the wall through and no one else. Okay. okay. Go through. You open the door. You find yourself in the atrium of what used to be Carsepolis Barracks. This is a small garden, once open to the sky, but now deep below Port Black Sand. The grass has long since withered away, but the dead and petrified skeletons of trees and shrubs still decorate the area, giving it an uncanny atmosphere. It's a dead garden, guarded by dead soldiers. And there, in the centre of what was once the neatly trimmed lawn, stands something that presumably came from the long-lost zoo of Carsepolis. A Tyrannosaurus. Quite what? dead, but skeletal and moving. Cool. I think we'll end the, the episode there, shall cool. we? Cool. It's a picture of it. Cool. Yeah, it what? just looks like a Tyrannosaurus. But cool. you know, a skeleton, unlike the ones we usually see. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's it. 
So the next session will almost certainly be the end for someone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, thanks thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.